If you're planning on building a camper van, converting a bus, and want to learn how to build an off-grid electrical system, this video is for you. And before we get into it, all the products you'll need will be linked down in the description. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click the bell notification button to stay up to date on new videos. So there's three types of batteries that you can go with. The first is a lead acid battery, the second is an AGM battery, and the third is a lithium battery. The lead acid battery is a wet cell battery that's going to be the most inefficient and may require some maintenance from time to time. The absorbent glass mat, aka the AGM battery, is basically a supercharged lead acid battery that requires no maintenance and can charge much faster. And then we have a lithium battery. The lithium battery is a lot more expensive than the AGM battery and the lead acid battery, but it also requires no maintenance, it can charge much faster. If you're planning on doing any type of off-grid setup, I would recommend you to stay away from lead acid batteries and buy something a little more efficient and effective like AGM batteries or lithium batteries. Next, you're going to need an inverter, which is basically a device that converts your 12 volt power into standard 110 power. Now there's a lot of different types of inverters. I recommend going with a pure sine wave 2000 watt or 3000 watt inverter, or you can go with an inverter charger, which is basically the same thing, but it has a battery charger all built into the same box, which allows you to connect to shore power. Next, you're gonna need fuses and breakers. Fuses and breakers are basically the same thing, except one is able to be reset when tripped and the other one is not. And it's basically a safety device that protects against overflow current. Next, you're going to need a battery monitor, which is basically a device that measures the battery voltage and uses the data to let you know how much battery is left in the battery bank, then brings the information up to a nice screen to let you know exactly how much battery you have left. You're also going to want to make sure you're using the proper size battery cable. I typically like to go with 6 gauge battery cable, but if you're running a heavier application, just go with a little bit of a thicker wire. Now let's go put all those components together, let's go. I really hope this video helped you guys. If you guys are still confused on how to set up your off-grid electrical system, you can always send us an email. It's beerunbus at gmail.com. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button. See you later. Peace.